Men are being asked to step up and save the planet. Vasectomy. 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 Broadcast live. Live. Live on the internet. As part of World, World Vasectomy, Vasectomy Day. Day. Oscar winning doco maker Jonathan Stack came up with the idea to promote male contraception. Combat overpopulation. And environmental awareness. Florida surgeon Doug Stein. Is on a mission to save the world. One vasectomy at a time. I just felt that whenever I did a vasectomy, I was doing something that was not only a service to the patient, but also a service to society and to the environment. I practice in Victoria and Queensland, Australia. Urologist from Santiago de Chile. From Ottawa, Canada. Suffolk in England. Narrow City. Northern New Jersey. San Diego. New Delhi. Ontario, Canada. Wishing all my fellow vasectomy colleagues around the world uh, all the best on World Vasectomy Day. 1,000 vasectomies across 25 countries in 24 hours. 39-year-old father of four, Chris Warren, was the first to undergo the snip. I don't feel like any less of a man and no, my voice hasn't gone up higher. It's minimally invasive. Most times we don't even get a drop of blood. You should not care just about how many children you want, but what kind of world those children are going to live in. The general urology practice was fulfilling, but it had no environmental or social impact. We started our family planning program back 40 years ago. We had seven children per family. We were able to bring it down to now about 1.2 children per family. Here are these guys who mostly just leave the responsibility for contraception to the woman. World Vasectomy Day, I think, will influence a lot of men to think, yes, this is something I could undertake. It's striking to me some similarities that I see with the feminist women's health movement. My wife had our first two children, both by caesarean section, and it was good to be able to put my hand up and say, well, I'll take this one on board. Couldn't think of supporting a better cause. It makes you feel sort of proud that you're contributing to your family in that significant way. I really admire these men who are here today and sharing this technique with all of us. You know, we feel very passionately about something and we're, we're going to tell people, not just our scientific colleagues. A few people can make a huge difference and next year hopefully there'll be more people and we can make even a huger difference. If this is what it takes to get science and science education out to everybody, then I'm happy to do it.